basketball team. There is any team you're going to see come in here in terms of shooting the basketball. They're as good a shooting team as I've seen in 10, 12, 15 years because every shot they take looks like they're going in. And our strategy was we, we've got to get to their legs somehow during the game by not fouling, by playing excellent defense, and our guys did a brilliant job. We knew we were going to have to play Ray a lot tonight because Bo Beach is a great basketball player, and he does play the power forward at 6'8", but he plays like a small forward wing player at times. And, and our forwards of uh, Mango, Jalen, and Anas cannot guard him on the perimeter or guard the switches. We knew Ray could. Now, that being said, we knew Ray would play. We didn't expect um, 18 points, 12 rebounds, and four steals <laughs> and two blocks. Uh, that was an incredible coming out party for him. His stamina was awesome. The team's stamina was awesome. The team's defense in the second half show you the type of conditioning we have. It's 62% from the field, and they shot 28%. So awesome, awesome display of basketball. As good a half as I've seen in this building uh, since I've been here uh, at both ends of the floor. So I'm real proud of our guys. Uh, we beat a very, very good basketball team, as most of you witnessed tonight. What did it take for this team to wake up and get – Going to start the league. Well, we're not really a trash talking team. It's a, I don't know what the hell was said, but uh, you know, that's more last year's team. I don't know what was said. He said that Donovan said something really bad. And I said, You got the wrong guy. <laughs> it's not him. Uh, he said, No, no, it was him. I said, No, you got the wrong guy. And Donovan probably, I don't know. But we, they're just real tough to guard. They cause major problems. They run 100 pick and rolls. You got to switch. Then sometimes you got to fork down it on the sideline. And there's a lot that went into this uh, to get ready for this team. It was the most difficult game plan we've had in quite some time to, to stop these guys. Rick, is, is this what Ray is? Like the kind of performance he had? I mean, I mean obviously he's well, probably still going to have <laughs> yes. ups and downs. But is this the type of player that, that he can be? Well, I think this was. Quite unusual, don't you, for a freshman? Yeah, I mean, I mean he's probably still going to have some up and down, yeah. but, you know, when he gets to where he's going to be. You know what, one of the most impressive things about it, I, I've been telling you along that Ray every day in practice is, is the high man on deflections. And, you know, you'd like to get anywhere from five to seven, eight deflections per game from an individual play. That's a very active player. He had 12 tonight. Every day, besides the, that stat line, he had 12 deflections. From the way he gets in the passing lane, the way he follows, the way – his wingspan, his quickness, you know, it's, it's, it's truly incredible, and I'm real proud of him. He had a great night. Uh, but you're right. He's a freshman. He's going to, just like the other guys, going to have their uh, dips. But you see the talent of all our freshmen. And we had to do this tonight without our best defensive player in Dangadell. How long, how long is it? I think he'll probably sit out the next game and hopefully be ready by Thanksgiving. Coach, what does it mean to have two big men like uh, Shinanu and Ray start the second half, and it seemed like their quickness defensively hands was huge to start the second half. Yeah, well, like I said, I knew Ray was a special basketball player from the time we recruited him. Uh, most people in this town didn't know it. It's interesting. Unfortunately, unfortunately for us, Duke found out too late because they got they made a real big push. And if it wasn't for his mom being so loyal to us, he could have visited other places. But his mom said, no, you're going to Louisville. Race it. I want to go. So you know they saw the potential, but this kid. You know, when you look at skills, and you look at wingspan, and you look at the way they run, and you look at the way they can pass, and his mind for the game, pretty incredible. His length, and for a six nine and a half guy to run like that, wow. Were you were you surprised at that second half? I mean, this was a tough preparation, and you expected them to hang. With you. Were you, did your team well, we worked really hard the past day and a half for the first time on our matchup zone because we didn't think Jalen could guard those guys on the perimeter, so we were working real hard on that. And they just torched it, so we had to get out of it and go back to our man, but we had to go with Ray. And we said, if we're going to go man, we're going to go with Ray. He's excellent on the press as well. You guys had an obvious advantage you know, down low. Were you, were you pleased with the way your kids kind of took advantage of that? Yeah, you know, last year... We knew we had an advantage in certain games, and we still shot jump shots. This team is smart enough to realize where our advantage was. We knew our advantage would be on the backboard. We knew our advantage was to go inside, and, and they did it all night. So this, this team is very intelligent as well as hardworking. That was a 
a devastating performance you watched. I mean, it, it impressed the hell out of me, but at both ends of the floor. That was because this is a very good basketball team that doesn't get rattled. It's a team that was up 20 against Illinois at Illinois and won comfortably. It's an NCAA team that probably won't win 25, 26 games, but you know, this team doesn't rattle too much North Florida. I understand your team was not a trash talking team, but how impressed were you with the fact that they stood up to the challenge and then came back with a big punch of their own in the second half? Well, they better have. <laughs> you know, it's, to me, it's, it's not the technical, it's the foul. So if you're in a close game and getting a foul, that's the bad thing about those, those things. You know, I'm not sure well, what was said or what wasn't said, but we learned a valuable lesson and still won the game. Quinn started slowly uh, and shoot the ball, but in the second half, they get five assists and, and, and make some shots. It seemed like he really kind of... Yeah, you know, Q, as long well as he takes good shots, you know, uh, what we're real happy about him was he, he, he took the mid-range shots. You know, some guys just really, really get concerned about shooting the ball when they're one for eight or whatever he was at that time at halftime. He showed no concern. He ball faked, shot, shot, shot. So that, that to me is more impressive than the actual making of the shot, the fact that he would take them. Coach, to say you were surprised in the second half, what, what have you learned that maybe you didn't know about this team through the first three games? Well, like I said, that, that was, you know, I, I think we were, I, I won't say we shocked us, but we were, that was a devastating performance. I mean, I, I haven't seen too many halves like that since I've been a coach here against a real good basketball team. I mean, to hold them to 28%, 20 points, to play that type of defense, then turn around and play great on offense, never lose focus on offense to hot dog and throw a lob, never lose focus, throw bounce passes, get back to the layups, move the basketball, never lose focus at all with a lead. To me, that's just, just so impressive. Does this team remind you of any of your previous teams anywhere you've been? The, only, the, the attitude of the team reminds me of 87 Providence. You know, just wonderful people who just really, and, and I keep telling, I, I had a, I took Trey, the captain's dinner last night, Trey Mango and, and Damian, I said, guys, enjoy this because this, I've been coaching 40 years and guys like this don't come along. It just doesn't happen this way. Because, you know, you'll, you'll see guys take pictures of, you know, pointing to themselves on the back and it's all about me and, so, you know, this is an unusual group. And we were that way a little bit last year. That's just the culture today. I'm not knocking it. It's just what it is today. Social media has made everybody that way. But this team doesn't buy into it at all. It's all about, it's all about team. It's all about each other. It's all about, you know, that chant of, I have your back, that we didn't choreograph that. Kenny didn't choreograph that. He doesn't have that type of imagination. <laughs> <laughs> that was choreographed by them. It's Kenny's birthday today, everybody. Hey. 62. <laughs> 56. Quite over, Bad date is uh, just a cut from basketball hit them. Coach, Anani has been a dominant force throughout the first three games. What's been his change in mindset throughout his freshman year and into his sophomore year? You know, Shannon is just, just was young. You know, he's younger than most kids. You know, most kids, most parents keep keep their sons back a year. But remember, he graduated at 16, didn't turn 17 until November of his freshman year. So he's just growing up. Very, very smart, like Montrez Harrell, very smart basketball player really understands how to play. So he, he's just making the adjustment to normal maturity. He, his, his maturation is catching up to his body, you know, emotionally and, and, and mentally. Okay, thank you. Yes, thanks.